We're on. The heck, finally. Oh my god! Oh. I'm not in a good mood today. Yeah, I could tell. Why? Oh, I got the best Elgato HD 60S uh, capture card so that we could, like, do streams, like, well. And, boy, is it big and powerful. So, so powerful that it completely tanks the PC that we stream on. Probably because that's the only thing you improved on it, Christopher. You're right. Nothing's changed about that thing. Oh. I didn't think it would outright fail the second I plugged it in. Not to mention, this new microphone that we have is so powerful that if you so much as lift your foot off the ground, uh, we have hardwood floors, it'll pick up that sound. Like, pretty clearly, actually. I found that out with Isma, who would not stop tapping his foot against the hardwood floor, and I told him to stop, and he didn't. Probably a habit. We well, probably need to change the settings on the mic. What? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Because if I take it, if I drop the gain, which is the sensitivity, too low, it won't pick up our voices that well. It'll it'll certainly pick up our voices, but it won't sound good. Basically, the whole Kingdom Hearts stream was me uh, playing around with the settings on the microphone. That's how I found these things out, and I was able to listen to them as they were happening, and then back just a few hours ago when I was listening to that VOD. I've landed on settings that I believe are most effective. The only thing, Gregory, this isn't a hard thing, just don't, just don't pick your feet up off the floor, that's it. Just don't raise them and put them back down on the hardwood floor and that's it and it's fine. There was other die? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. No. She killed Stoopy! I don't remember entirely what we did last time, but we're just we're moving on. Yep. We, we gotta get to the next gym. Well it's been a couple weeks. Yeah, the button mashing too. Well, I mean, we always could. It's a good, you know, the controller's too close to the microphone. But I don't. I mean, I don't know how to do that. I mean, to be honest, the Nintendo Switch controller, the Pro controller, is just loud. It's just plastic smashing against plastic, and they didn't do anything to alleviate the sound. the stream now. I'm going to listen to it. We come out pretty okay. Yeah? You can definitely hear us. Is there still a huge delay? No, actually. Maybe I'm not as close as I should be. But I think ultimately we sound fine. Okay. So have you messed around with the mic at all outside of streams? 
No. I don't think so. I ran a test to find out what worked for podcasting, and then I did that, and you know, now I know. Now I know what works and sounds good enough. What? You found a thing. If anything, the last pad podcast is a little too loud. So maybe uh, we'll remember to turn the sensitivity down for podcasts. Okay. You guys are pretty close together. How did that go, by the way? That was very a boring episode of the podcast, I'll say. But it's because we didn't have... I, I mean, I didn't even know that was going to happen. I was kind of hoping that the guys would say, Nah, let's pick this up second week of January. And then they said, Yes. And then, and then we did it, and... Had nothing to talk about? Not really. We talked about the things that we did, and, you know, New Year's... What was... What we were going to be doing for the New Year, I suppose. It was one of those, you know, coming back. Coming back from the... From the high of Christmas, and then New Year's happening right after another. But you guys had nothing to say about it? Um, not really. I talked about Boruto, because I'd been reading Boruto... But I hadn't even read the ninth volume by the time we had uh, recorded the podcast. And some dank stuff happens at the end of volume nine. Hmm. Like what? Well, if you remember from that video of the leaks that we saw, the guy was referring to a character named Ishiki. We, in volume nine, Ishiki is revealed to be a character. An existing character, even. Mm -hmm. You want to know about Ishiki? No. Okay. Go ahead and tell me anyways. Then. Okay. <laughs> so Ishiki is an Otsutsuki, as you could probably tell from his look. Uh, do you remember the big, the big burly Otsutsuki who came with Mosh Momoshiki during the tuning exams? He was kind of like the retainer to Momoshiki. Uh, so Ishiki is the retainer of Kaguya. Uh, okay. So we're still on the Kaguya stuff. Yes. We can't get rid of the Otsutsukis in Boruto. In fact, that basically makes the overarching villain of the series of Boruto and Otsutsuki, meaning it's just, once again, things that Boruto is taking from Naruto. Well, I had to figure that. Figure, I kind of figured that would happen. Yeah, I like him. I don't. You got hyper potions. Should probably try and pick up more items. Yeah, hyper there. potions aren't as good as they used to be because they're not two hundred anymore. Because they used to be great. Oh, I kind of want that thing. Do you want him to train him? Because he evolves at level 50-something. I just kind of want him, because I think he looks cool. Alright. Go ahead. I like Ponyard. He looks so cute. I've never seen this guy before. Is he from, like, 5th gen or something? Yeah. Ponyard and his evolution, Bisharp. They're the samurai Pokemon. Damn. Oh yeah, he's still dark, so... Oh, okay. I thought he was, like, fighting or something. Should I get him? Uh, no, I don't like Nunatone. Why? Because he looks stupid. What him? I don't like that one either. That one's just not good. There's an item right there. We don't need it. It's probably a revive. How about that guy? I love him! Get the phalanx! This guy's cool. I think he's bug type, so... 
Okay. Oh. I don't know. That's cool. I could have done whatever to him then if I knew he had that. Yeah. What is a phalanx in in life, Gregory? I think a phalanx just refers to it's a military formation. Oh. That the Romans or the Greeks used. They might have both used it. Uh, you basically everybody has a shield, and you line up in such a way that like you're not impenetrable because obviously guys still die anymore. But like it makes it harder for them to attack you with like spears and arrows and stuff. I think. Mm. I like these guys. Then I like the way they're shaped like Trojan helmets. That's probably why they're shaped like that. It's also a boss in Demon Souls, I think. Mm. Oh shoot, I gotta heal Stuppy. Nine ten. Is that long wise? It's probably long wise. How do you pronounce that? Dickle. Okay. You know, I thought it would be something a little more avant-garde. What is that? That's Toga de Maru. That's the rodent? That's a rodent, yes. It's the Pikachu clone from Gen 6. Oh, we kind of need this guy. No, 7. Gen 7. He's, He's definitely fast. Yeah, he's kind of fast. What the hell? He's not, not that fast. <laughs> I don't know. You... Oh, no. Wilson Fisk is actually extremely slow, isn't he? Yes. He's our slowest guy. Oh, I think you're in a speed tie with him. And this is a worthless electric type, though. It's also a girl. Do you know in the anime, the Togedemaru that, uh, the, what's his face, the boy, that Togedemaru super loved Pikachu, and it tried to pump, rupture him with their, with their spikes on their back every time, every chance they got. As a show of affection. Hmm. Okay. Well, now you've confused me. No, I was going to name them after the Challenger mission. Name it Chaz. I don't know why, but when I first saw you go for the CHA, I thought you were going for Chaz. Why? I don't know. It would just be stupid, and, you know. Unex expect the unexpected, Gregory. Oh, this is the cool one. Creepy. This turns into that thing? Yeah. The dragon? Yeah, the dragon who's super competitive viable. You know, they say that, but they still don't use it that much. Gregory? What? What do you think we're going to... What do you think in gaming is going to happen this year? 
In gaming? Yeah. Um, there's going to be a surprise game that no one heard about that will steal everyone's hearts. Um, the controversial game of the year winner won't happen because it'll either be cyberpunk or something that's not cyberpunk and then that'll split everybody. Do people really like honestly feel like cyberpunk deserves an any award at this point? Uh, on PC probably like graphics or something? Art direction maybe? I suppose so. It's clear that a lot of work went into it just some things didn't some things were not worked on as well. Have you ever played, even played it? No, but I, I... In a way, I want to, despite knowing that... You won't like it? It's either a glitchy mess that's really funny, or it's just some... It's just some first-person adventure game. It's, there's nothing really special about it when it works the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I, I have a feeling I wouldn't like it. I still kind of want... I still do kind of want to play it. I want to have it. I just, I don't, you know, I'm not getting it for my base PS4. I would like to wait until I have a PS5. And I don't know when that's going to happen. It seems like it's very story heavy. And it has a short story compared to other, like, I don't know what the genre is. Shooter, action shooter? I mean, with Western a, RPG, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Ismot has described it as an RPG, and I think I feel like that that fits. Because it's also... The story, is, the main story isn't that long and has multiple endings, but then there's a whole bunch of side things. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can do. The things that you're just supposed to find. I just have a feeling I wouldn't like it. I don't know. Most people don't play most games anyways. I think this year we're going to get announcements. We're going to get some announcements for games that people are looking forward to or not looking forward to. What a prediction. Okay, so if I had to say one thing, I think we're finally going to get a look not any confirmation of when it's coming out, but a look at Breath of the Wild 2. It's been a, it's been a few years, so there's got to be something, and I think we're going to learn a little bit more about it this year. I think we're going to discover that there's another Mario game in the works. Really? You think so? I think so. Because it's 20, 2017 or 18 that Mario Odyssey came out. So it's about time that we either find out that a new one's coming out, or a new one comes out. And if a new one comes out this year, then it's probably a 2D one that, uh, you know, that sure it's fun, but nobody cares about it. I don't know why, but I... Oh, I don't know. I just as always assume that Mario games come out when they release a new console. When was the last time they made a Mario game that wasn't a console release game? Uh, Mario Galaxy 2. Which was like 2009? It was, yeah, whatever it was. It was a couple years after Mario Galaxy, and it wasn't for the Wii U. And then also... Mario 3D 3D World wasn't a launch date title. Uh, I don't know if they had planned to like. T I, well, I get I don't know what to say about 3D World. It's technically not because they don't consider it a 3D Mario in the same vein as Mario Galaxy. So it is probably just the same kind of thing as the new Super Mario series, in which it was just going to happen, and it didn't matter what console. It didn't matter that it needed to promote a console. That's a little weird. Should I even bother with that? 
the those two trainers were the only two trainers. I feel like we did. Well, now we're getting to the ice place. So we're probably screwed then. Maybe. I think steel resists ice, so Wilson Fisk should be fine. Oh yeah. Other than that, I think Stuffy is not too far off from evolving. He's like 37. Mm. Level 41. I mean, if only we had EXP candies. We probably do. Have some at least. I don't think we have enough to get him up four levels. He will evolve soon, though. Why do you? Why are you using muddy water? What do you mean? That's a dark type. And you could use revenge and kill it. I'm trying to catch it. Oh. Okay. To answer your question, Christopher. What about him? What do you mean, what about him? I like Sneasel. And he'll give us options in the ice gym. Alright, I suppose. Wait, what, wait, what do you... He's a dark type. Yeah. I think he's also ice type. He... Oh. Sneasel usually has a steel move, doesn't it? Okay, but what, I don't think this one does. Well, we'll see. I think maybe we need to level him up just once. I think... I think because the sun is blocked out, it, this technically counts as a dark area, and a dusk ball would be effective. Oh, yeah? Well, it also works on dark types, doesn't it? No. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to switch out. Because I think my health is too low. It's affecting my catch rate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Use your team. So I've been playing what? Link's Awakening, and that game is actually really good. You know what peeves me though? What? That there's a lot. There's a lot of things about the Game Boy Edition that they didn't change. Oh. Oh. Uh, whoa. Like what? I mean, just so. I mean, if I. It's just a straight-up remake of the Game Boy game. And then they added, like, Dampe's place where you can make dungeons that apparently isn't that good. Mm -hmm. And they added more secret seashells. There used to be only 20. I think there's now 50 in the game. So there's more things to find. But it's other than that, it's just like, okay. Okay, it's... Just the remake of the Game Boy game, and it looks a lot better, and I'm glad that I have it on Switch. But there are certain things, like, that were uh, relics of the Game Boy past. There are things that you just have to figure out on your own, and nobody gives you even a hint about certain things. I know, and you hate figuring stuff out on your own. Well, I hate figuring things out when there's no indication of certain things that you can do. Like, you're, you finish a like this trading quest, the super long trading quest in the game, you have to find a fisherman under a bridge, and there's no indication that, that you can even go under that bridge. You just have to know and dive under it. Well, I feel like Game Boys were back in the day when you had to talk to somebody who knew what to do, so you would talk to your friends, or you would get a... What are those called? The Prima Guides? Yes, the guides. 
back in the days of guides, which I loved, and kind of still have fond memories of. And I think Zelda games were basically built for those, where you, if you had a guide, stuff like that, would be like, oh, here's, this, here's the secret, here's how you move on. Mm. Otherwise, I mean, you figure it out on your own, which is kind of the point of Zelda. Who are we taking into this gym? <sighs> Chaz is steel type. We'll check his moves first. Why do you want to check the moves? Their stats are kind of crap. It doesn't have a steel type anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, fighting type. Reversal. Good or bad. Reversal dependent on its HP. So it's not a great move. Prevents the user from switching out. That seems very specific. Kinda of after isn't strong enough. That hasn't stopped us before. Alright. Gertrude, no. Big Man, 31, Incinerate, and Smackdown. Maybe if we have some candies. What about the. Th what about the. Slashy Boy? Oh, Sneasel? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Metal Claws, so okay. So he's in the party. And he's oh, got yeah. Home Claws. And I don't think he's affected by hail and stuff like that. Yeah. So let's rock with him. Or her, I mean. Throw so Ladle in the party and drop... Stuppy. What? Stuppy doesn't have a fire move. But Stuppy needs to level up, and be and if he can level up three times, he'll be. Then Shanko's gone. Okay, that's fine. And that's probably it. No one else is strong enough. Unless we want to throw one of these guys in. No. No, those two are a little too like technical types, not powerful types. Well, I like technical types, but we probably have. I don't know. I was going to say we have too many. Oh, Hugh Jackman. Oh, yeah. But he's rock. He would be great. Headbutt, rock slide, rock blast. Rock slide's pretty good. You want him? Slightly inaccurate, but yes. Very good. Alright, who do we get rid of? Drop Ladle. <laughs> Why? Okay, uh, drop Drew for now. Oh, because he's water? Yeah. Then I think, okay, we're good. Let's see if we got any candies. Hey, he's holding an Everstone. Oh. That's a funny trick to pull on your friends. Trade them a Pokemon who evolves through trading. But have it hold an Everstone. Hilarious, Christopher. Uh, does Restore technically count? Yeah. No. Never mind. Then I'm gonna have to go through the items. Use the bag. Yes. And I really don't think we have any. How do we get them? You have to do raid battles. Well, why haven't we been doing those? I mean, we could. Maybe we should give some of these to these guys. Sticky bar. It damages the holder, but it will lash onto a Pokemon that touches one. So we will just switch back and forth? Yeah. Because that works if the other Pokemon has it, right? I think so. Well, it's based on physical moves. If a Pokemon uses a physical move on, like if it were on Wilson, and Wilson used Muddy Water, then it wouldn't go back to Wilson. Okay. Restore health every time you hit. We don't have... I don't think... I don't think we have binder wrapped. Do you wanna? Does any of these look good to you? 
The shell bell is kind of nice, just to like, you know. Ugh. Ugh. The expert belt increases fighting type moves. Does it well, slightly boost too? super effective moves? So one of the ones, Ladle or Hugh Jackman. Bright Powder lowers the other Pokemon's accuracy. I guess Stuppy? Or Goaty doesn't need the Suit Bell anymore. No. Alright, I guess that's it. Okay. Go tackle that gym. So we're in this beautiful little ice town. I do really like the way it looks. It's real nice. This man's selling ice cream. Except he's not, because he's not going to give me any. This man's selling something. A vanilla -ish. We don't have that. Uh, go into one of these hotels. I think in this one. We can get the wide lens through a little thing in a, one of the rooms in here. Oh, so I gotta go through the elevator? Mm-hmm. Christopher, this... There's a lot of rooms in here. It's okay, just... It'll... I think... It's in a room like this one. So I think you're on the right side of the hotel. For a lens? Okay. So not this weirdo. Go around. Well, the wide lens is just a good item. What does it do? It increases accuracy of moves. Here we are! Mm -hmm. Who are you? Oh no! You walked in and I forgot what I was doing. I gotta talk to him to get it? Yeah. This is houses. Houses? Is are, those, are those from the translation team? Because I see a lot of, like, oh, large quantity of apples. Who ate the berries? I see a lot of Sherlock Holmes references in Japanese stuff. But that, maybe that's normal for every... Everybody. You interfering child, you will be my assistant. Does he make a lot of Sherlock Holmes references over here, too? Yeah. Is he just that? Yeah, just talk to the three. The boy's looking for his Pokemon. Who obviously did it. The old man is an old man. Let me stop eating those things. And the dancer is here. That's what I thought. And then there's the Pokemon. His cheeks are stuffed. He looks smaller than he does in battle. Mm -hmm. He deduced the culprit. It is the dancer. You're a fr yeah, he is a fraud. It's because you got that fat ass, girl. Well, fine, child. You deduced the culprit. I should have said the child. Is there any way to fail this, though? No. You j you would, like, pick somebody else, and then the boy will be like, Wait a minute. My Pokemon has berry bits around his mouth. Here's your recompense. The wide lens. So you, if you have an inaccurate move, you throw the wide lens on that Pokemon and it makes it a little better. You want to throw it on your jacket? Maybe. <sighs> she got rock slide? Yeah.
held item. Oh. Well, hey. Go back to held item and open your bag. And there it is. We Wait. have two of them. Did he give you two? I don't think so. I think we already had one. Did no, you? No, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. He gave us two. So we throw it on someone else? Yeah. Uh, I don't know anyone else with inaccurate moves, so no. Okay. That was a nice little detour. Okay, and now we can get back to the story. I always like this stuff. See how the wealthy live in Pokemon. Just like the SSAM. What is this? This is a hot spring. I think there's a TM in here. Someone give it to you? Because I don't see it on the floor. There it is. Oh. Icicle Spear. Uh, two to five times. I think that's a physical move. A lot of those moves in this game. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Why'd you do that? I don't know, I was trying to get the bike out. It's the plus button. Okay. Hello, Hop. He lost. He did? How did you lose to the most simple type in the game, Hop? Can he retry? Yeah. Okay. I think the gym challenge is dependent on if you give up or not. Okay. So I guess a lot of people just give up. Because they're not strong enough? I don't know. Alright, we're taking on the gym. Who should we lead our party? Uh, I, well, it doesn't matter for these... Uh, the trainers coming up. Let's get through the trainers and let's think about our strategy. Okay, so we gotta find something? You got the dowsing rods. The trap detector. That's the first time the main character has made a face that wasn't just blank, I think. What? Stay calm and move forward. There, there are ghosts. Oh. Should we bother? Uh. I mean, you'll lose the chance if you don't. I'm trying to think who I should have had out. Shnoom! It's the boy! Maybe I should just throw Gertie out first. Because Wilson Fist doesn't have much PP. That's true. Nice. We got nothing from that. Well, it was just a bug. Okay. I guess all he had was the larva. That was a waste of our time. Nice. Oh? Okay. 
Good job. Okay. Good, good. Oh, this looks much tougher. You know, if you do it without falling even once, you get a special surprise. Really? No. Oh, right, because nothing matters in Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, and also about Link's Awakening. Uh -huh. The thing that's just going to hurt my soul. The way you get the true ending in the game is by beating the whole game without dying. Nice. Maybe that's okay. You're safe. So, did you get the true ending? No. No, I've died over 20 times in my current playthrough. My first playthrough. You just need to get good, Christopher. I know. And I save appropriately and then restart when you die. Who should go out? Uh, we need f some fighting. They have really high defense. You don't have any special attackers. I don't know, sissy, sissy. Let's give it a shot, Christopher. Hopefully, she doesn't die in one hit. Hopefully, Cloyster is weak. And it's just a tank can't do damage. Raise yourself. Nope, never mind. E. Yeah. Oh, we're dead. Susie, you're too slow. Well, if I was leveling up slow, anyways, who cares? Wilson Fisk is gonna go. We need him for everything. Okay, so now he's faster. Which is fine with me, because I got two moves that he needs to hit first for him to do better. Yeah, dang. Lower defense, and it still didn't do too much. Holy crap. I never realized how much of a killer the water ice type was. That eliminates two of Ice's weaknesses. Do we have a shoulder? No. I really like Cloyster. I wish we kind of had one. I think... Okay. These things suck. Now don't worry about the minor duchies. They're all the same. <laughs> I think, like, it, the platform's safe, so there probably isn't anything in front of it. There was stuff in front of the last one. Just go. Do it. Get up. 
Because I think the drop is in front of this part. Hello, man. Is it another cloister? No, he has a bear tick. This is easier. Okay. charm. I figured he was a physical guy. That didn't look physical to me at all, though. Mm. That was a crit, though. Maybe I should switch out. And now you're frozen. I have to switch out anyways. Oh, uh, Wilson Fisk isn't healed. Time for these guys to get a shot. Who should right. go? Hugh Jackman. But now you're confused. Okay. Uh, a tough payoff. Oh no. Oh, you avoided. We're gonna hurt ourselves. Oh, you're confused. Yay. You avoided again. I hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself again. Nope. Yay. All right. Nice. Nice. Gertie, learn something, will ya? I know, we should probably fill them out of the party soon. Oh, okay. All right. What a challenge. It's a dumb challenge anyway, so I don't mind it being just easy. definitely going to be a lot in this last part. Oh. On this side is a man. circles. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a bitch.
I don't know why I even tried that time. This guy is pretty cool. He does look cool. Oh man, he's tough. Oh, he's strong. He's too strong. Excuse you? What? It's rude to burp into the mic, Christopher. I didn't burp into it. In fact, I tried to blow away. You should at least have manners. Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna go in close. For now. Oh, wait. I think he evolves by holding an item. Which item? The Brazer Claw? You might have that. Or it's the Grip Claw or something. That's what we have, I think. Okay, back to this boring, horrible gym challenge. No, that's not right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I forgot. We don't even have that many healing items. No, we don't. battle we've had so far has been a close call, st strategizing, thinking about our next moves. Who should lead? I don't... I don't know what she leads with. I want to say that the Frost Smoth, which is the bug ice type. So then who Jackman should lead? Yes. I mean, all of her Pokemon are ice types. The only one that is water ice is Lapras, her last Pokemon. It's the only one we would have to worry about. It's coming up last, though. Wilson Fist doesn't even have a ground move anymore. When did he? Oh, yeah. He had Mud Slap something. Yes. Where are the held items? The candy. Shell Bell or King's Rock? King's Rock does what? King's Rock 
If it's successfully, if Wilson successfully inflicts damage, he will make the target flinch. Possibly. It's not. It's a better chance than not nothing. Well. So Wilson Fist's defense is good enough, and the little HP will make a difference for him. Mission cleared. Here we go. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, come to me, baby. She's cute. Look at her huge hair. I guess that's huge, too. Hopefully we don't get frozen. That is a possibility. We have a couple full heals. Oh. Yes, it's the moth. Melanie's not in the other game, is she? No. Her son is in the other game. And in fact, that's an interesting bit of lore. So... So, for this gym, Melanie wanted her son to take over and to be an ice type user just like her but he didn't want to he's a rock type user that's what he likes so they had a battle deciding who would take over the gym and if the gym would change types and so like for sword and shield it's kind of like oh my goodness what the hell was that that was Bug buzz? I didn't know it could do that. Oh, I guess that's a special bug move that actually does a lot of damage. Should I switch out or heal? Uh... I don't know what could stand up to that. That was a critical hit. Oh. Okay. So I think it's only half as powerful, or something like that. Wilson might still be fine. I'm thinking Gertie. Wilson or Gertie. Gertie would also be fine. I don't think this thing has a lot of physical moves, so... No, it definitely doesn't. That X defense might have been worse, but worthless. I should have just rock slided and maybe killed it. Too late now. Mm. But I thought, uh, I didn't think it would have a move like that. Yeah, that is just powerful. You're faster than it, so payback probably isn't going to. Okay. That could work in our favor. That would be fine. Yes. That and cool. you're dead. My boy Gertie. Wilson Fisk or someone else uh, heal Hugh Jackman. And then throw him out there again. Okay. Okay to what? Oh, I thought you were telling me something. I don't... I asked Wilson Fisk or one of these guys to die and then heal Hugh Jackman. I think throw out Stuppy. Because actually, Stuppy might be able to handle two of those.
You guys will know you're confused. Nope. That was attack. The other one is confusion. So what do you think? I might as well go in. Curse, Hex, Fire Spin. Uh... I... I don't think Stuppy can do that much. So okay. just switch out to somebody? Like no, middle? no, keep him in. Because I don't want to risk anybody else getting hurt or dying. Stuffy took that ice move pretty well. Did its special attack or normal attack get lowered? I don't know. Press the Y button. Click on Stuppy. His normal attack was lowered, so he's fine. You want me to just do Shadow Ball? I say throw Shadow Ball at it. See what you can do before you die, Stuppy. See? He's powerful. Alright. Next thing is Darmanitan. <laughs> so this one's ice fire. No, wait. I think this one's ice and it has the ability the Zen mode and Zen mode turns it into ice fire. Okay. Should I heal or should I continue to fight with Stuffy? Curse maybe? Why not? Eh, no. Don't let Stuffy die just because. Because let's see if he can take more from these ice types. This is physical, though. Oh, yeah, geez. I mean, he lasted. More critical hits. I should have just cursed, maybe. No, he would die anyways. Just let him die? Yeah. And then go into what's his face? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Sacrifice play. Alright. If you get the curse off, you get the curse off. Well, it's okay, Stuffy. You took out the Frost Moth, and then I didn't think you would. Just go right into it? Yeah. That is a pointless move. Oh, nice. Zen mode. Ah, that's what Zen mode does. No, backslide's still good. What does Taunt even do? I can only attack. I can't do any, like buffs or anything. Okay. Oh, you flinched. Oh, I might die. I don't think Sturdy is as powerful as it used to be, so... I, you, you sturdy only works if it's like a... a one... one mm -hmm. shot, right? Yeah. Should I Dynamax? No. Why? She only has one. Oh no, she's got two more Pokemon. After this one. Well, what should I do? I have max revives. Should I just throw caution to the wind? Yeah, use a move on him. Oh! Survive, you! Nope.
Now what? <sighs> the ladle in. And so yes, Kevin, in case we haven't seen it just yet, Hugh Jackman is one that evolves by trading. It's basically the same thing as Gollum. Yeah, we're fucked now. Believe in Wilson. He's still, he's gonna get killed. We got lucky. So you'll be fine. Snap trap. Snap trap for 45 turns? It's basically just bind or whatever. Yeah, but I mean more powerful than that. Should we bother? I don't think we should touch our current move set. Okay. This guy is a uh, mimic you situation. You have to hit him once before you can damage him. I've never seen this guy before. Okay, this is good. Because his ability is a lot more broken than Mimikyu's. Because if he sets up Hail, if you get rid of the Ice Body <clears throat> and then he uses Hail, he gets it back. Every time you activate Hail, he gets it back. Okay. So now that he did it, he's stuck for five turns. I thought he froze us for a second. It's how it didn't come on. Does it have to be physical? Maybe. I've never... Never seen... Actually... You I guess I've never... Run. I haven't fought him enough. Every time that I have, I've had a physical fire type. It doesn't have to be physical. I don't know if I should have bothered. Muddy Water did good. And he's not really doing too much to me. Vengeance. Oh, but that's that was good. Who are we gonna Dynamax? Well Water Ice. But we've only got two options. How do we beat that cloister? What do you mean, how do we beat the cloister? With revenge. I think. Yeah, I mean, fighting does work on water ice. I think we shouldn't Dynamax when she's going to. We should probably play the stall game. Do you think we could survive? No, well, she's going to use a water type move, which will end Wilson. So then, why don't we Dynamax to get our stats up? It's not going to work much better. It's a really, it's a Gigantamax Lapras. It's a really powerful attack. Wilson already has less than half HP. Then we're screwed because Hugh Jackman is all that's left. He's going to come out and get killed. We've only got one Max revive. You have a few revives. You think we could last three turns? I think we have to Dynamax. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. We 
use those revives. Because it, if we use the one max revive on something that could handle an attack from Lapras, like Gertie, may not be great attacker, we would be able to get something back with our normal revives. Because I don't think Lapras learns any stat boosting moves. I don't understand what the plan is. Use the Macros Revive. On who? On Gertie. Why? Gertie's gonna get killed. Gertie's not gonna get killed. didn't know that would happen. No, I didn't. But he's fine. So I would say switch out. I'm gonna go with my gut. Okay. So now switch out. To who? Switch out to Gertie. Because this is its last turn of G Max. And once it's back to normal, like that water type move is not gonna be nearly as strong on Wilson. I still think we could have Dynamaxed as Wilson and ended the fight there. Well, I would heal him. And I think now it's more likely that he'll be able to end this fight as Dynamax. Back to Wilson. See, what did I tell you? He would have been destroyed. You guys saw the... Oh, the rain. The rain made it stronger. You're still probably going to be able to kill us.
I'm just gonna lame it out. I'm not gonna throw you, Jackman. He'll get killed. He's worthless at this point. Looks even stronger now. It was critical, critical hit. hit. Why'd she get so many critical hits? Uh, this game is stupid. We lost. Well, he has sturdy. He does. So, I mean, we'll get one attack off. Does 30 count? Yeah. If we've already used it once in a battle, I guess it does. Yes! You worked! And we won that fight with 1 HP. Also, Kevin, yeah, I noticed how many times you put revenge in the comments. It wouldn't have been any better than the G-Max uh, p fighting attack we used. Sandstorm. Well, Rock Blast sucks, so. Okay. gonna climb into a hole. Whatever, bitch. You're pretty good, huh? I was going to say we got lucky, but I mean she also got lucky three times with those criticals. Yeah. Now we can kiss level 50s. If we ever see her son, we have to absolutely destroy him. As ordered by his mother. Well, I don't think we're gonna, lady. Alright. Wait, did you talk to Ball Guy? I did. Before I did the gym, even. Alright. Hello, Sonia. Let's go to Bob's, your uncle. Okay. Should I heal before I do that? Yes. Wait, didn't you get healed? After you beat a gym? Yeah, I we're do. fine. Alright, let's just go. I guess it's this way. Wait. What? Throw Ladle out of the party. Don't release. Why? Why do you want to release him? Because he sucks. He's worthless. But we can just throw him in the po box. Why do you hate releasing Pokemon? B why would we do it? We don't get anything for it. You get the satisfaction. Okay, I was going to say Drew, but alright. Why Drew? Because Drew is actually good. So even you're off of Shanko now. I mean, he was going to be a good electric type. It's just that he's still behind in levels. You know, I don't want to... We're not putting time towards anybody to lay, let, raise them up. What's going on in the chat there, Christopher? 
Kevin's implying that revenge would have been the best possible choice we could have made the first time that we saw Lapras. You might be right about that. That's not no. They didn't you see the way that things played out, Christopher? It's not the same as Max Knuckle, for one. It doesn't have the same uh, what you call it ability. It just doubles in power if you get hit. I know, and we would have probably killed it. Because they didn't kill us the first time they hit us with Surf. We survived. No. How powerful do you think G-Max Knuckle is? What are you talking about? It it's scales not... per attack. But it doesn't have the same as ability as Revenge. What ability does Revenge have? It doubles in power, that's it. Which is a huge deal in Pokemon. If it did 50, it would do 100. If it did, like, 75, it would do whatever, 150. Base power. It would go from 60 to 120. G-Max Novel is 130 base power. No, it, the damage is what doubles. No, the base power doubles. That's how it works in the system. It doubles in power. Base power. Do you know that for sure? Yes. Who do you think studies this bullshit? I've played competitive Pokemon, Greg. I know how the moves work. All right. You just think it doubles in power because that's what you see. You're never going to see a situation in which the power is different. Yeah, it's going to double in damage because the power doubled. That's it. I. You may be right, but at the end of the day, me and Kevin agree on that. And you would have completely lost Wilson Fisk and forced Hugh Jackman into a situation he couldn't win. If it didn't kill him, I think it would have ended up in the same result anyways. Hugh Jackman would have tanked... Hugh Jack... Wilson Fisk would have died, and Hugh Jackman would come out, tank, surf, and get him with Rock Slide, and I think... Uh... uh. In the end, I think we only prolonged the battle. No, we won because we didn't lose Wilson at the first thing. Because we stopped the G-Max from happening. We needed to wait those three turns. You clearly are underestimating how powerful that Lapras was when it was G-Max. Because did you see how much that Lapras did when it wasn't G-Max and it used Surf on Wilson Fisk who was Dynamax? Yeah, Hop just wants to fight. Because he's horny or whatever. Whatever, I hate Hop. Did you notice that when Sonya was talking about how there was a sword and a shield legendary Pokemon, Hop was like, man, I'd fancy myself a sword. No, I didn't, because I stopped paying attention to this shit story. Well, now your attack fell. You're fucked. See? Now he's even more defensive. Use growl again. I 
I will say, something that I like about Hop is that his team actually keeps changing. Like, he keeps talking about how he'll try new combinations and he'll try new fighting styles. And then it actually gets reflected in his team every time you battle. That is nice. What's his face to that too, Gary? Yeah. Did you know that in 5th gen, the rival Bianca, there was like actual story, uh, there were like story elements deciding which Pokemon she would end up having on her team when you fought her. What does that mean? So like in the story, you know, of course she picked a Pokemon that has a type weak to yours. Just because she was like, I want that one after you picked yours. But then... Going through the first route, uh, she was like, let's have a Pokemon catching battle in a route where you could only catch Lillipup and the other piece of crap. So she was like, I caught one Pokemon, and that she ends up having a Stoutlin on her team, the final evolution of Lillipup. So she caught that Lillipup and she used it. And then, when you're in the Dream Yard, she sees the Muna, the Poke the pink, like, little squishy Pokemon, and she's like, I want to catch that. She tells you that. She's like, I want to go and look for that Pokemon and catch one. And then she uses it. And she has it on her team. And then there's an elemental monkey, which she gets from a person who's like, you need to have a type advantage against the gym leader because they're going to try and have a type advantage against you. And a whole bunch of stuff like that. So basically, she has a team that you get to know the backstory of. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Which one was Bianca? Green, beret, blonde, short hair, th thick, curvy hips. From Gen 5? Yeah. Black and white? Yeah. Oh, I remember her. I liked her, I didn't like Shiro. I don't feel like anyone likes Sharon. I don't ever see him anywhere. No, nobody does. Because he's just... He's like... He's mostly just a douche the whole time. And then eventually he's like, cool. I don't know, he never becomes a great character. Was that the first time you had multiple rivals? Uh... Do you... Well, do you count Wally as a rival? No. Then yes, that was the first time. Oh wait, fourth gen, the opposite gender of the player character would be a rival, in addition to Barry. So you had two rivals there. What have you even been doing in this battle? Have you been winning? We're about even right now. Except I have more Pokemon. Goodness, Stuppy, you're almost there. Oh, yeah, we should learn that. And then throw on uh, the lens. Or what should we get rid of? <laughs> I'm thinking Hex. I don't think the lens makes it that much more accurate. Well, at least then, I'm in my mind, it's going from 50 to like 75. I don't think it's 75. I think it would be 70. You don't want to learn it? I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a good enough trade-off. 
Okay. I like this one. He's a silly one, he is. Oh shit. Oh yeah, he's electric. And the first time oh, I actually used Aqua Tail. Oh well. The first time I ever saw that Pokemon, I thought his name was Pincherman. He's strong as hell, anyways. Nice. Oh! This thing's got a weird moveset. Oh, but it's not Gauss, so Curse is kind of... It's just whatever. Curse does the stat raising instead of the thing. I love that Snorlax. He's a good man. Oh no. Bye, Hugh Jackman. Oh? Spoke too soon. He held out. Oh, because you know what? Heavy Slam, I think it's dependent on how much more heavy you are than your opponent. And Hugh Jackman being a pile of rocks is pretty heavy. Hmm. Get in there, Drew. Is Flash Cannon even strong? I don't think it's as good as Aqua Tail. And Aqua Tail gets stabbed, so. So close, Drew. He almost had it. I think I'm faster. No, Susie's pretty slow. Okay. Snorlax is even slower. Calm mind? Raises both. Mm. Heal pulse is not good. Because I don't see us getting in many double battles. That's true. It'll be the greatest when I steal this win back. Just like us, every time we steal a win, we should have lost. This is the main bird, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. It's the bird for this gem. Is there another one? I'm trying to think. I want to say there might be something else. Can't be the only bird in the whole generation. Well, I guess they keep decreasing the number of Pokemon they add each generation. Kinda sucks. I wonder if they're out of ideas. I don't think it's just that. I think it's because there's almost a thousand now. 
And they want to try and bring back people's favorites. Well, they almost did in the first gen. Yeah, they were like, man, this is way too much. We can't handle this. We should just put in 400 and be done with it. And then people threw a fit. Well, people were right to throw a fit because it's not that hard. And they ended up doing it anyways, so. They are doing it anyways. And they gave all those bullshit reasons why they couldn't, but whatever. I, th I mean, I don't know. I think at some point they gotta stop making new Pokemon. Why? Because it's like almost a thousand right now. Like I don't even. There's no way that I could remember every Pokemon out of the almost thousand that there are. In which case, you know, maybe that would be interesting. I run into a Pokemon and I think, oh my wow, new new thing, and it was like Gen two. Hmm. Well, that's happened to me before, but that was, I, I think, mostly because of how young I was. Gen 2 wasn't too much in my mind. I always thought Wallafair was like Gen 3. Gen 2 also kind of sucked. Low-key. I mean, how many bangers were there? Gen 2? Yeah. Name them. Okay, design or usability? Design. Okay. Because there's stuff, probably stuff that's usable. I bet people don't even really use that much. Meganium. I like Meganium. The Chikorita final. Well, in my mind, starters don't count for that. But okay. Because those starters are actually pretty popular. Okay, then for it. I'm thinking more like Stantler. I don't you love Stantler. I don't like Stantler. What's fur? Fur is the thing that people have like walking around, right? Yeah, that's like they have its walk animation and then the music over it. Yeah, just fur it walking. But you don't like that because you like that design. You like that because you know that meme. No, I like the design. I don't, I don't believe you. I don't even care about that meme. It's not better than Zigzagoon. That's a. Re I didn't say it was better than Zigzagoon. You're just ask. You asked me. What I liked from Gen 2, you didn't ask me if I thought it was better than something. Well, I forgot that your opinion is shit, because Ferret, Ferret sucks. Ferret is cute. It's like saying your favorite bird is Hoot Hoot, or Noctile. It's not, well, it's, I hate Noctile. <laughs> I don't think it looks very cool. I like it's shiny, though, because the anime version was awesome. But Ferret is still cute. Um, so you got one. I like Fan P and Don Fan. I like, Do people like Fan P and Don Pan? I think a lot of people like the Fan P line. Do that. I'm sure it, it has its own fan base. Like definitely, it's not because when people say. Every every Pokemon is somebody's favorite. I don't buy that for even a second. But something like Fampy and Don Fan, which was like really powerful, it was a rare, it's like cute. Something like that does have its own fan base. Poor Gertie. They're kind of useless now. I regret even wanting them. Stuppy's almost there, so they stay in. Susie's going real freaking slow. Hugh Jackman has served their we purpose. We haven't used Sushi at all. Okay, so who do we bring in? Uh, that's up to you. We want to start leveling guys up. Wilson Fisk and Drew Pickles can lead the party for a while when they get their levels. Yeah. And then Stuppy, to, by the time he gets around. So you want to bring in... Well, what could we... What would do we need? We're coming up on a dark gym. Dark gym? We're go also going to be going across an ocean, so we'd be facing a lot of water types. Okay. Um, Chaz, Shanko, uh, a little racist. Uh, Chancy? I mean, Chancy would be an extreme grind, not just like. <laughs> 
Well, all of them, everything but the ones down here would be. We're not leveling anything else. I don't see why Gertie doesn't work. I mean, just give it good moves. Like what? You can go to talk to the cafe man. I don't think we've talked to the cafe man since Gertie evolved. Then Gertie gets a second shot. And if I had to say one or the other, I would probably pick Shanko because he's a fast electric type compared to Chaz, but we haven't used Chaz. We're going with Warble. Okay. All right, putting throwing the level eighteen in the party right now. They're gonna shoot up, Christopher. Talk wait. to the cafe man. But where is he? He's in the Pokemon Center. Forget about that. Everything's in the Pokemon Center now. Uh, remember a move. Let's see. If I learned anything good. Oh, well, it did evolve late. The baton pass is good. Double kick is the best possible fighting move. What's after you? Helps the target and makes it use its move right after the user? I think that's a double battle thing. This is a good double battle Pokemon, I guess. Magicoat, Miracoat. Mirror coat is cool. It's just I uh, I wouldn't. I mean I don't ever really know how to predict when somebody's going to use a special attack. You can usually tell by the type. Hold on, I gotta go to the rescue. Water Pokemon use a lot of special moves. Dark types use a lot of physical. Attack. Yeah. That was loud. Okay, it's Christopher's time now, and we're going to put double kick on the Pokemon. Yes. Payback is shit. We'll get rid of it. We have the TM for it anyways. Remember some moves. We have... Gertie doesn't even have... Well, they got agility. So you know what? Baton Pass isn't a bad idea. No. Yeah. Instead, I'm going to go into our TMs and HMs. The whoops. I don't know how to activate menus. I can't ride the bicycle. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't ride my bicycle in this shopping center. Swift is not great. Brutal Swing is pretty cool. I mean, it double paddles. Focus Blast is awesome. Retaliate. Only better if it attacks after if something dies. Vengeance. U turn is pretty cool. I guess that's also a drawback of not doing too many raid battles. We would have a lot more TRs. We would have a lot more selection. Focus Blast, I really want to put on somebody. You know, now that I can see that it could go on Drew. actually be pretty good on Drew. Focus Blast. And how come Gertie didn't... When does Gertie learn High Jump Kick? I'm going to look up when Gertie learns High Jump Kick. No. What'd you decide on? Well, I gave it double kick. Why? Because payback sucks. <clears throat> what 
What about Mirka? I haven't given it that yet. I was looking at the TMs. And we have a TR for Focus Blast. It could go on uh, Blastoise or Gertie. And I wanted to look at Gertie's moves. Because we still haven't got High Jump Kick. That's level 56. You want to throw it on Gertie? And then we'd have two fighting moves. No, let's not throw it on Gertie. Want to throw it on Drew Pickles? I want to come back to that. Okay. So are we going to give her Miracle? We could. I would like you to decide that because agility and charm are both good moves. Magicka. It was like Leech Seed, Flux Task, Barrier, and Fighter Back to the user of those moves. That would be pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I think one of the coats would be good. And then everything else I could take or leave. Baton Pass would be good if we got agility going. And then we could have like a super fast. Whatever we throw in, right? Yeah. So we should get rid of... Charm for something, at least. Let's give it a charm for one out of coats. Okay. Magic or mirror? Which do you like better? If we can come back and get either of these at any time... This counters any special attack, by the way. Let's go with mirror coat. Okay. Anything else you want to remember these? I don't know. Alright. Let's go. Oh, well, should we get some items? Yes. Let's buy. Yeah, don't. Why? Not that many. They're pretty good. Get like 20. And then get some full heals. It's way too much. Why? They're pretty good. We could use them instead of buying other status. You don't know that we'll need that many. But, so then they could last till the rest of the game. Fine. What else do we need? I don't know, but we're probably going to come across a situation where we're going to wish we had more money. We've been doing pretty alright. Right. And we're going to get some money doing some other battles. And then the next time before we go to the gym, we'll go to the store. How about that? Okay. Leave the town. Which is this way? Yeah, down. Want to get a haircut? No, I like how we are. I like that we've stayed this way the whole time. Look pretty good. Wait, who's that? We have Wilson in front. Swap him out. Get Yay. those levels. Stop it, you will evolve by the end of the day. Just one more. Is this a boy or a girl? I guess it doesn't matter. That's Harriet. Oh, that's what that evolves into? Yeah. I actually don't like it. But it's really fast. I can tell by the tail, but... I drew. Uh, because they're resistant to water. Okay. Mert. You got buffet, too. I should have... Uh, no, never mind. 
should have done rain dance to get rid of the hail. But it doesn't matter. Then you'd make its water move more powerful. That's what I was thinking. It would make Aqua Tail for us more powerful, but then it's more powerful too, so. It's kind of a trade off. Cell Smash. Which I kind of like. It's too late now. I'm gonna look up when Blastoise learns Hydro Pump. I think not till it's 50s. I know, but I want to know exactly when. You bitch. Diving? How dare you? Oh. Oh. There we go. I don't blame Bulbapedia, but you know, sometimes they just freeze up my screen. Yeah, I've always had trouble with them too. 49 actually. In this gen? In this gen. So, soon. Not too soon, but soon. Oh man, Skull Bash. If only that weren't two stage, that would be amazing. I guess it's amazing because it's two stages. What do you mean two stages? Uh, Skull Bash, you have to do. You, you tuck in your head one turn. Next turn, you attack. Was it always that way, or did they nerf it? I, I don't know. I feel like it was always that way. For as long as I've known. You know what? I don't think we're prepared for water types at all. No, we're not. Maybe we should have put one of those electric types in the party instead of the level 18 fire type. That's not the problem. We should have switched out Cody for something. She's got the most annoying moves, too. I know. Watch carefully. Oh, you snapped out of your confusion. Um, what am I watching for? I, I'm, I was just saying nothing. Still that, on that bullshit, Chris. What? I mean, did you notice that revenge? You used it, and then you used it in a situation where it was double. In fact. It was just double. You would not know the difference, I'm saying. It's just that the damage was doubled because the base power was doubled. Right. So explain to me why if the damage is doubled, it doesn't just do twice the damage. Because there are, there's like random factors, like... When Pokemon moves, the damage is calculated, is actually d calculated between a range. Of like a low threshold and a high threshold, and you'll get a high roll or a low roll on any given turn. It's so it's not consistent. If you Have you ever noticed, like, you'll attack a Pokemon, and on one hit, you'll get it all the way to, like, halfway, but yellow bar health. And then you attack it again with the same move, and then it doesn't kill it. It leaves it with like one or two HP. It's because it's just because of that damage calculation. Yeah. 
Yes. Finally. My boy. We can find out if you're garbage or not. What the hell? My baby boy. Lampant. Did you remember that it had a second stage? Yes. Because you have to use a stone to evolve it into the chandelier. Which stone? The dusk stone. Which we don't have. I don't know where to get that. It's not... I don't think it's hard to find. Also, how dare you say, let's find out if Stuppy's garbage or not, after he's already come through in two gym battles. I think that was a little bit of coincidence. Anything that you want? No, but get that ball. I kind of want the, the pelipper. Don't you? Well... I like pelipper. Okay, get the pelipper. But every time I've used Pelipper, it's not like he's a great Pokemon. Because he sucks. Yeah, he is. But I like his, the way he looks. He's pretty dang strong, though. Okay, so... We might not be ready for what lies ahead. Oh? What's up? You can get the Dust Stone... It's still on side. Is that a city? Yeah, that's a city we've already been to. You want to go back? Yeah. Okay. God damn it. Slow ass bird. It's in a corner behind the Pokemon Center. He doesn't have an item. I know, he's using a bunch of moves that are failing. Seems like he's got a weird moveset. So he keeps using Swallow and stuff like that. Uh, either he's not using Stockpile or he doesn't even have it at this point. I'm thinking he doesn't have it. He used Mist, Swallow, and then something else. Flame. But he doesn't have an item. I don't know what his last move is. If it's stockpile, he's just uh, got a he's got a weird random. He's just not being smart, is all. This guy's not dangerous at all. The net ball should work. He's a water type. It's pretty high level though. He is a tough boy to crack. He might die before we catch him. Oh well. Could use the experience. Moon ball. That's incredibly specific. I don't like some of these pokey balls are too specific. I know. It feels like a waste. Only involves with a moonstone? That's like Clefairy. Which I, I don't even know if that's in this game. Jigglypuff. And what else? Nothing else that's in this game. No, that's it. Uh, Why is everyone on iron, iron, iron defense? Because they're defensive Pokemon. I'm surprised that our Drew has better special defense than regular defense. I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. No. I do li I like Shell Smash. Because it gives us offensive capabilities. 
We just need some good offensive moves. The water bird. <sighs> Real mature. You proud of yourself? You want one of those? No. What's the um, damn it. We're gonna get screwed. Okay. I think you're gonna be able to handle this one. Yes, you are. Isn't Darumaka the thing from last gen? No, fifth gen. So they just have different kinds of Darumaka. Yeah, this is the Galarian form, Darumaka. Would be nice if we had a fire move. I mean, you act like fire spins down right there. Damn, look at that. That's a weak ass fire move. Imagine if we had something like Inferno. Yeah. It would miss, and then we'd be stuck here for a few turns waiting for it to finally hit. Look up how much wide lens adds to uh, accuracy. All right. Because they nerf everything, I think it might have been nerfed. Because it used to be 20%. type of held item. What does it do? Boosts the holder's accuracy by 10%. So I'd say that's worth it for moves 75 accuracy and above. In yeah. my opinion. For 50, that would become 55. I should just just fire maybe. I don't know that this will kill. Mm. I wonder though if that means that you can put it wide lands on a Pokemon with 100 base accuracy moves and then it'll increase that by 10%. So then you end up with 110 accuracy and if you get your accuracy lowered by one stage then you're still at 100%. Curious. So it's like you go in buffed and then they debuff you to normal? Yeah. Protect. Protect is useless, isn't it? I mean, if you want to see it that way, you can prevent a powerful move. What should we get rid of? I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. I'm just saying, protect has its uses. make a good combo. Also, what? we should just about wrap this up. Oh no, look out! You sure you don't want one of these? I don't particularly care. They're probably tough. You want to save? Yes. Alright. That's that. Yeah. Next week, something will happen. Thanks for stopping.